Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel and part two of Rowan. Um, she is uh, a grayscale coloring page available in my Etsy shop if you are um, first time visiting here. Um, today we're going to work on her hair and uh, I'm going to do it in this really vivid um, ginger orange color um, to go with the, uh, the pumpkin theme. So I have the colors all pulled out. The only thing I didn't do was sharpen my white. Yeah, I've got a few pencils I probably should have, sh probably should have sharpened. So I'm going to use white. I'm going to use light peach. I'm going to use pumpkin orange and terracotta and black. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and use the white like I would do it if I was um, um, working on my tan paper. So I'm going to start by just putting it in um, some of the spots that I want to really pick up highlight. And I'll do some over here. Twisting that pencil a little bit helps to um, keep your um, thing sharp, your lead. Sh it's not really a lead, but you know, the, the end sharp. All right, next is our next lightest color, which is going to be light peach. Oh, and just FYI, so that you guys are aware, um, I am not going to be doing a background on this page because, what did I get on her face? Um, because there's going to be so much, um, so much color and stuff going on on her, um, her headpiece and, and the pumpkin and the leaves and all that. Um, it, I decided that it, it looks really nice with just a, a clean white background. So keep that in mind when you're working. Um, uh, be aware that um, no, back, no color is going to be going on here so that um, there's no hiding if you get, um, you know, stuff on the, on the back of the, um, on the, on the background, on the white. So just kind of be extra careful with your, um, your pencils and um, stuff like that because it will all show if you do it like I do and don't do a background. All right, so next up is pumpkin orange. This is gonna be really fast hair. Um, I think, and then we'll start on some of the flowers. I don't think I will get them um, all done in one sitting, but we can we can get started. So let's see. Let's go back and work in our little sections. So this is one. We're gonna um, lighten our pressure as we work our way into the center of the section of hair. And then this is another section. 
This is going to be a little bit darker because it's further back in. I think I'm going to grab my um, light peach, put that right here. And all of this can then be darker. Go much further until I grab the terracotta. So, actually, let's do this. Um, I will do this as part of. So let me grab the terracotta. I'm going to put that in a pencil extender. And then any area that you feel like, oh, you know what? I want that to be a little bit lighter. Just grab your light peach, cover that up. I'm going to blend this all with light peach. more of this where I feel like it needs it. And then I think that we can use the um, Slice tool. I think we can use the slice tool to um, give ourselves some <clears throat> highlighty bits. So I'm going to 
going to just finish this section um, and then I will probably do like all the hair through with um, a single color as we go. But what's nice about doing it this way is that I'm kind of testing the waters of um, if this is if this is for sure what I want to do, if this is, if the color combo is right, if um, the technique is going to work, just kind of do a section first, be happy with it, and um, and then you and then you know that you're on the right track and you can keep going from there. So. Maybe let me add some black here before I break out the slice tool. So again, you know, those, that, those dark colors go in the places that you want, those deepest shadows. And it breaks up all of these little sections of hair. I wouldn't go overboard with um, with it with this color because you know I don't I don't want it to be too dark. I just want some of those um, you know some of those coats to get broken up a little bit. In fact, I think maybe just a tiny little bit more right. Okay, now I'm curious how well the light will show up. It's not, um, it's not terrible, and we're gonna want some of these hairs to come off into the white anyway, so you can do that. Um, we could also use a slice tool. And that's going to work as well. So I'm going to um, keep going. I'm just going to now work my way through the whole um, through the whole side. So I'll do this side, and then I'll do this side. So my next color is pumpkin orange. I'm gonna put some um, I'm gonna put some light peach right over this really dark part. Um, just a couple of little strands. And then when I color over it, hopefully the the light um, color that I put on there will resist and there'll be some really faint um, hairs right there. do that here as well.
terracotta. See when I put this terracotta over the um, over the, the dark gray, the dark gray grayscale um, because the terracotta is a reddish um, color it covers up that grayscale really nicely um, and then the areas where I put the light peach um, lines across have kind of resisted and so we still have some um, thin little wispy hairs showing right there. Same thing over here. I think especially once I, um, if I blend this, I think those will, will show up even better. Of course, lately I've been having weird, weird luck with my blending and it hasn't done what I, what I have always expected it to do. We'll see. All right, let's use some light peach. Those came out really thick and I want those to be a little bit, these strands, I want those to be quite a bit thinner. So um, I'm just going to thin them down.
So I think I'm going to keep adding some more of this and even putting it in a slightly different um, direction. It's not really a different direction. It's just I'm going just a little bit off of, of how I went before. I'm going to try and create some more texture and some more um, depth. Because right now I'm not... completely in love with it, but I think that that will get better if we um, use some of the slice tools and maybe even some white. We'll see. Let's see. I'm going to start by trying white. So if you press hard enough, um, you can get some pretty decent um, marks. That's not too bad. But then I want to try the slice tool as well. Ooh. So some of the hairs I'm I'm going to do straight, but I actually like um, doing a little bit of a squiggly there because, you know, not, not all of them have to be perfectly straight. Boy, it's just, it's just amazing to me how, um, <laughs> how much better hair looks after you throw in the all the little extra loose hairs. It's like I start out going, oh, this is not turning out at all like I wanted it to. And now all of a sudden it looks a lot better. That's one nice thing about um, white paper. <laughs> So I'm not in love with how this looks. So I'm going to just try and um, use some really thin loosey-goosey bits. <laughs> I don't know how to, how to describe it. Just making it a little bit less um, perfect. And I don't think I want to go as dark as that terracotta, but I do think that we can do a few more hairs onto the white. I think that that's I think that's fine let's do the other side so I think I've already done white and peach sorry light peach I might do just a little bit more light peach all right so pumpkin orange um, This is mostly going to be dark. There's not going to be a lot of um, highlight up in here. Um, let me just get a little streak of white right there.
do a little streak. When you're when you're working sections like this, you want your the uh, you want your color to go right up close to the to the th one that's on top of it. You want to make sure that there's no gaps. Um, but when you're when you're going in this direction, I would say go very softly. You don't want a hard line that's going that direction. And then that way you can come up into into that one and feather that color out. Same thing down here. Get your color right up to the edge of that other bit of hair. And if you, if you feel like you need to come in here and, and darken this up, use little circles. Don't, don't, don't do hard lines. Okay, let's go. Let's do some terracotta. I want that up here.
Okay, I'm going to take my light peach, just do a few. <clears throat> Might even, I think I'll blend with the colorless blender. Just get a little bit more of this light peach on here. I'm gonna put some black in here. I kind of feel like I wanna just shrink her jawline a tiny little bit. Rather than black, I'm going to stick some terracotta in here. That doesn't have enough color on it yet either. So let me just, this is the pumpkin orange. I just put a little bit of black right there. All right. Let's try um, some white first. It always it always amazes me. It's like when I when I go to try and have white show up, it never seems to. And then every once in a while, I'll go to do it, and it's like, pow! There it goes. I don't know. I think it's because I crossed the um, the direction of the of the hair. All right. So now we'll do some um, slice tool. Pretty much works just like the white did. It's not bad. I don't know how much of that we need. I am looking up here and I'm seeing um, 
like a gap between the hair and the skin. So I'm just going to take my chestnut and just darken that. Too, we probably could do a couple of loose hairs there. Oh, let's do some hairs that are um, a darker color as well, so we're not all. Her hair is kind of messy. So it's got lots of loose flyaways. And I want something right there. I'm going to try white first. Yep, that worked. That works just fine. Um, and then if we really want to be brave, we could do just, you know, across the face as well. I did. It's very subtle. I'm going to leave it like that. Um, this one, we might go a little bit heavier. Yeah, I'm going to be brave. Let's do a couple of, there we go. Do I like that or did that hit right in a bad shadow spot? So it looks funny. That's better. Um, all right. Do I want a little bit more terracotta anywhere? some try and carefully do some loose I don't want to use that I want to use this some loose hairs out here as well um, that'll look better once I get the sunflower on here I think Sometimes you just got to commit and hope for the <laughs> hope for the best. Um, Cuz if you're too precise, you know, if you're really careful with your hairs and you make them very precise, they're going to look very precise and often um, just don't have that loose flowy look that hairs will have. So sometimes when you're doing these these hairs like this, you've just got to you just have to commit. <laughs> And go for it. All right, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, and I will say that we're at 40 minutes. So I'm kind of thinking that what I might do is um, do, maybe I'll do these because, oh no, see, I had that problem before. Learn from your mistakes, Karen. <laughs> Okay, so typically, um, you know, I work back to front. Um, but if I go ahead and put the dark, um, these dark Rowan leaves, I think there were, I think if I remember right, I did Rowan leaves on these. If I do, if I go dark here, um, then when I go to do the colors above it, if I've made any mistakes, I'm not going to be able to get my color over it. So I'm changing my mind. We're going to do the flowers first and then fill in right up to what we did, I think, with the leaves. That would be better. Let's get some eyebrows on her. Um, so here's a good question. What color eyebrows do I do on her? I don't... I've looked... I've looked... I've done reds before for eyebrows 
and I have not been happy with how they, that they look. Um, I kind of want her to have darker eyebrows. Right now I'm just making this all a little bit darker. This is one of those things that I could just keep working on and working on and working on and working on. Like right here where it needs a little bit more. All right, so what color, what color do we see eyebrows? Maybe we do espresso because it's kind of, you know, warm and Other options besides espresso? Yes, we could do dark brown. So here's where my um, swatch charts for me really um, come in handy because you know you think you know what the color looks like, but then sometimes you just don't. So we have sienna brown, we have dark brown, and we have espresso, which is even darker. I'm leaning towards a dark brown, but I might, oh, I might try sienna brown. Okay. So somewhere around here I have sienna brown, and if I hate it, then I'll just stop. So unfortunately, it's a, no, just stick it in an extender. All right, so Sienna Brown. See, I just don't, I just don't like it. Okay, dark brown. Going with dark brown. Yep. It's not as dark as um, espresso, so that's that's good. I think. Yep. I think that's just that's just the right color. Um, guys, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to stop there. 45 minutes, that's good. Um, I've got plenty of videos that are 45 minutes, so sometimes that's a good thing. I'm really tempted to take these nails and give them a little bit of this beige color. Yellow and pink make the prettiest kind of corally orangey color. So it's not quite as, um, not quite as pink as it was before. I have a little bit of work to do on those finger, on those fingernails. This is all very gray. So I'm gonna add a little bit of chestnut. That's a little bit better. All right, I am, um, I'm happy, I'm good, I'm good with that. Um, the only thing that I might, <laughs> God, I'm such a dork. Um, you can always count on me to change my mind mid-sentence when I'm telling you I'm done, can't you? Um, I just feel like I want a little bit more red, you know, a little bit more terracotta. So. 
So that's probably what I'm going to do is just spend a little bit of time working that terracotta and just a little bit more. It's probably plenty. All right, I'm good. All right, my friends, I will um, see you on the next one. Those flowers are going to take some time. Um, I didn't, I didn't record how long they took me to do the first time. I should probably start doing that just so I know, <laughs> just, just so I know. Um, Hopefully we can get this clump done in one video, but I don't know. We'll see. But either way, until I see you then, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Happy coloring. Bye.